Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot problems you might be experiencing with devices and printers on your Windows device. So in this tutorial, like I have done in the past, we're going to be using an easy fix solution, previously referred to as a Microsoft Fix It solution for this issue. So rather than running a troubleshooting utility that's already built into our Windows 10 device, if you're running an earlier version of Windows that does not have this feature, this definitely could be very useful. And even if you are using Windows 10, you can still download this from the internet and it should work perfectly fine. And it's all developed right from Microsoft, so it's definitely a trustworthy source. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by actually navigating over to a website that I have in the description of the video. And it'll go over different Microsoft Easy Fix solutions. Now, the one that we're going to be looking for is going to be near the top of this list. So we want to click on Troubleshoot Problems with Devices and Printers right here. So once you left click on that, it's going to begin the download. It's only about 764 bytes, so very small. You want to save the file. And once it's finished downloading, you want to click on Open. At this point, we can minimize out of our web browser. And we can see that this troubleshooting utility, what it will scan for and it'll look for device and printers, USB, hardware and devices, printer, and Windows Network Diagnostics areas that could be resulting in devices and printer problems. So once we have this screen up, we're going to click on Next. It'll begin scanning. shouldn't take too long. So we can see that if we try troubleshooting as an administrator, we might be able to find something additional. So we want to click on that. So if you're prompted for that, I recommend you do that. And then again, you would just follow through the screen again, click on Next. It will begin scanning with administrator privileges. However, since it did not find anything, well, there's really nothing wrong to begin with. But if it did find something, it would give you the resolution as to what was scanned for, what was resolved, what was fixed, and so forth. So this is definitely not a one fix fits all kind of deal here. So just keep that in mind if you're going into it with that mindset um, it's definitely helpful but it's definitely a good tool to try out see if it works it's a good first step doesn't really hurt anything. So at this point if it did find anything I'd recommend just applying the fix if it's not already done so automatically and restart your machine and hopefully the problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.